All right, hey guys, here we are, back for another guide. Um, hole number seven, trying to tighten up a revision on this hole a little bit. Now, if you guys have saw where I've been trying to essentially play it, I've been playing it up a little bit here. We're going to try to get just a little bit more aggressive, maybe about two bars of topspin, a little bit more. I'm going to try to land at this same spot. I really kind of like this landing zone. It's kind of controlled. You don't have to worry about the backspin too much or anything. Which makes this kind of feasible, um, kind of like a, you know, not too bad of an option. So you can see with about how much I'm curling, did catch a great ball. I don't think that's really going to be a big deal breaker. Um, ultimately, you know, I like to get a little bit more forward here. The more that you get it down towards the edge of this fairway, the more that you can ensure you won't need to get into sniper range. So getting up here is one of the things that you want to try to do. So that's one of the main reasons that you see me doing kind of the way that I'm doing and, um, you know, playing the spin that I am. You can see opponent doing this with QB, you know, should be good either or. The only thing I'm thinking is it may end up getting just a little bit kind of maxed out, just a touch. Um, so I would be pushing up at least another two rings. This is going to definitely wind up shorter than mine because it, it just didn't quite get aggressive enough on the sand. He kind of landed kind of the same length as me um, with less topspin. So, you know, it's going to wind up a little bit farther behind. With that being said, you know, you may start to tweak a little bit, you know, towards that max, max club to where Sniper may just... You know, so that's why that's one of the main reasons to try to, you know, keep it aggressive to, to make sure that you stay out of that sniper territory. Now, you guys have already saw what I've been trying to do, maybe about two on the tops, two on the spin or so. Um, with some ball guide offset, you can see how offset my ball guide is. It's pretty substantial here. Um, additionally, you know, we're going to go very aggressive on this ring adjustment on top. So if it's a 12, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, 17, 18 rings plus that ball guide offset. So there's eight. It's almost 18, probably 17.9 rings on a 12.3 plus all that ball guide offset. So let's just see how this comes in. It looks pretty good. And sure enough, there's the line. So it did come in with just a tiny bit of speed, but um, with it perfectly coming in centered, as you can see, I was able to get it. Um, you know, you'll have to just, you know, the more you play this, just try to get more honed in on what you need to do ring adjustment wise and that ball guide offset. So the more you master that, the better you'll probably work yourself out. So good luck there, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one.